So as you can tell from the little shot that you're seeing behind me here, there's not a lot happening in my garden right now um, because we just have very slow sp starting springs here and then things just start ramping up rapidly. And we're right on the cusp of that right now. Although like a lot of people, we're just coming off of some very cold nights and hopefully we're finished with those now. But I thought it might be fun to run around and show you a few things that are looking good in the garden right now. So I thought I would present to you five plants that look good in my garden right now. Just a little quick and dirty video of running around, seeing what everything looks like. So come on, let's go. This is Tansy Isla Gold. It's a cultivar of Tansy. And if you know Tansy, you might think of it as almost a weed because it can be extremely aggressive in a garden. Um, it does reseed rather prolifically and um, really can spread itself about. But Isla Gold is, the, obviously well named for one but uh, it doesn't seem to flower as much um, although I'm don't, not looking for the flowers so I don't really give it much opportunity although the pollinators do like it so I let them go a little bit. This yellow color won't stay all year long um, it will get a little bit more chartreuse but it's definitely more yellow than it is green. This is a plant that is all over my garden right now this is Virginia Bluebells, which is a native. It just sort of spreads all on its own. It's ephemeral, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Once it's done flowering and once its leaves start pooping out and you don't want to look at it anymore, you just cut it off. It seems to regenerate just fine. It does. You don't have to let the foliage die back like you do with a daffodil or a tulip. And, uh, it's great because it helps shade the garden a little bit at a time when weeds are popping up everywhere. So weeds don't really get a chance to establish themselves. And by the time the perennials are really needing to get in there, I've chopped it off. Now, most of these were divisions from plants that I got from my mom's garden, but I actually have this growing as a native in my woods and it popped up there and it does reseed itself around if you don't like it, you just cut it off or pull it out. It doesn't interrupt anything else in the garden. We tend to think about hostas when they're fully grown, but I think hostas are sometimes prettiest when they're just emerging from the soil. This is June. It is one of my very favorite hostas. It grows in quite a sunny area in my garden and it looks great. Um, now, of course, it looks especially good right now. This is all fresh new foliage. The deer haven't found it yet. We're working on that. The slugs haven't found it yet and it's all just wonderfully fresh and new. I actually did just fertilize literally hours ago with some Lorganite on there. So if you see some fertilizer in there, that's what that is. It's probably no surprise that the shade border is one of the areas that is just really looking great right now with all the daffodils in it and all the little bulbs when it shines this time of year. So this is bellwort, Uvularia grandiflorium. And this is a lovely little native and it's just the most charming thing with these little downward facing petals that hang down. Um, and just this bright spot of yellow. I don't really like a lot of yellow in the garden, but I love yellow in the garden in spring because it's so cheery and it's what we all need. This divides really easily. These plants, again, came from my mom's garden. It's awfully nice to have a person you can get some plants from. So the next plant is actually right next to the bellwort. And this is such a stunner and it's such an unusual plant. And this is shredded umbrella plant. First of all, it wins for possibly the best name, but it comes up in these sort of floppy, slightly fuzzy little um, stems. And they look like kind of well, shredded umbrellas that are sort of folded up and, and as they grow, they get bigger and they open up. Um, they do have flowers. Some people hate the flowers. I don't mind them. Um, it's really lovely. I'm happy it's doing well in my garden. I'm 
I'm so bummed. I looked up from taking a video and an indigo bunting was on the feeder that's behind me. I was hoping it might maybe come back while I'm doing this, but I don't think that's going to happen. Anyways, I hope you guys are finding great things in your garden right now. It is so fun to just watch these plants who are like old friends uh, come back every year and kind of get a chance to visit with them again.